May's been wanting one of these scamps for a long time and we finally got a chance to take it out. We wanted to see how it compares. Scamp, tiny teardrop trailer. Stick around, we'll tell you what we think. So we got the scamp out this weekend and we are really looking forward to comparing this thing to our tiny teardrop trailer. door i love that i just walk in walk in the teardrop is a little uncomfortable you're like i'm short so you're trying to hop over to get in drew loves that he can stand up in it um, and stretch his legs drew does not like the weight he thinks it's a little too heavy for our little car um it does great it still does good but it's just a little heavier compared to our teardrop uh, he hates the outside of it. He thinks it's just hideous. I think it's pretty cute. It is kind of cute and kind of ugly. It might take a while because it's just so big, um, but over here, <laughs> there's just so much to talk about. Over here, you have the bedding, and then if you like switch it, table. <laughs> table. And then right here, you have your uh, closet, aka pantry, aka coat hanger. Down here, you have more storage. So we're storing our, our, our potty. porta potty right now. <laughs> and then um, behind me, there is the sink, a stove, refrigerator, more storage. Storage up here for toothbrush, it's pretty awesome. And then over here, you have a two-man sleeper, if I'm saying it correctly. <laughs> yeah, it's like a couch that turns into bunk beds, yep, right? Yep, it's pretty awesome. And then storage underneath there as well. And what about this? That what was the best feature of last night? There is a furnace. Oh, there's a furnace. <laughs> this thing is on a regulated thermostat here, so like it doesn't even run that much. Just kicks on in the middle of the night when you need it, and kicks off when you don't need it. And it's vented outside. I'll show you that vent. So it's pretty nice. You don't have to worry about really, you know, the carbon monoxide or uh, low oxygen in there because it's venting right out here on outside. Don't open it though. We don't it really like it. It um, takes up a lot of space and takes up some energy. Uh, yeah, it's. I think a cooler would be better um, for our just for our family. We noticed when we were sleeping in here last night that the cars that came by sounded like they were like right in here. <laughs> you can't really hear us from the inside, but from the inside you can hear everything super magnified. It's kind of crazy and... And compared to the teardrop? And the teardrop, we can't hear anything. Like if it, it, it feels muffled and you feel like you're in this little cozy spot, like away from the world. Whereas here in the um, scamp, you feel like the world is going to crash right into your door. <laughs> The coolest thing about this that I really love is there's no um, musty smell and no like condensation. We would wake up in our teardrop every morning with just like water all up the walls and the windows completely covered. This morning when we woke up in here, it was completely dry. It was just great. So the teardrop has a lot of wood in it and I think that really makes the musty stay. I hope I've washed away all those disgusting germs. But I really love the sink because you can um, wash hands here and wake up in the morning and not have to go out to, to use a hand washing station. Connect the gray water to a hose here and run it out into like a, into a, you know, a container or something or like us because it's just water. Uh, you can just run it straight out here if you're not doing anything that's like toothbrushing or stuff that would be bad for the environment. But if it's just washing off your face or rinsing your hands or whatever, just straight out. 
this has room for us to grow as a family um, and tent drew huh, baby <laughs> yeah. I just think it's cool because eventually East will grow bigger and he can sleep over here and then if we did have another little one they can um, join in over here and we will still have our own little uh, mom and dad space over here all right so May's getting in the car getting our stuff we're about to take off to the Winter Creek hand tram over here it's a really great trail out of laziness, we're not going to take our camera today. I have some video from a couple of weeks ago for our, our family just got out there, hopped on the tram. Uh, it's a hand tram, like you push it manually across the creek. It's just awesome. <laughs> Feeling somebody's walking stick. Actually, kind of heavy. <laughs> <laughs> the stick is bigger than my wife. <laughs> All right, so we're on Winter Gulch Hike, one of the easiest hikes in Alaska for family, lazy people, and people with babies. Mile in from this side of the trailhead, and then about two and a half miles from the other side. So he likes hiking, huh? He loves being outside. That's how you rest your head when you're tired, buddy. Look at this strong lady. Oh, 